Joining me in the studio today is Matt. He is the president of the Great Lakes Bay Veterans Coalition. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about the organization in itself. Yeah, so the Great Lakes Bay Veterans Coalition um, was officially formed in 2017. Mm. And then just recently, about a year ago, um, we officially became a 501c3 nonprofit. Nice, that's awesome. Now, what types of things do you do to help veterans in the community? Yeah, so we really have two sides to what the Veterans Coalition tries to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And on one side, it's specific help and projects that we do helping veterans and their families. Sure. And on the other side, we also do a lot of education and patriotism type events mm -hmm. to just um, promote awareness and continue patriot patriotism in our communities. Yeah, now are you a veteran yourself? I am, 12 years Army. Yeah, so why was it important for you to kind of like help veterans because you had the experience firsthand. Yeah, so I think um, veterans helping veterans mm -hmm. is one of the greatest things that can that sure. can possibly happen. And it's it's very fulfilling. And personally, I feel blessed that I've always been motivated to help those around me. Mm -hmm. And so it's very natural to want to help our other veterans. Yeah. It also is something that a lot of us are drawn to because of the camaraderie mm -hmm. amongst us in the Veterans Coalition. Sure because we know that the other people that we're working alongside, you know, speak the same language and they, mm -hmm. and they understand. And so it's, um, it's just kind of a fraternal feel. Yeah. Now, obviously there's always the conversation of helping veterans. What would you say are the things that are still being missed that, you know, veterans need help with? Well, employment is always going to be a challenge, mm -hmm. right? And connecting employers to qualified veterans is always going to be something that that we need to bridge mm -hmm. because our number one call and our number one concern that we have is economic sure. right it's people needing help with um, uh, an electric bill or mm -hmm. groceries or a car yeah. repair or something like that so mm -hmm. the solution is jobs or better jobs mm -hmm. um, that help us not then get those calls yeah why do you think that's so difficult you know to bridge that gap of getting those jobs for veterans I think that in a lot of cases, veterans are afraid to put themselves out there. Mm. Um, veterans tend to isolate themselves. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to think that that people in the community don't understand them or their skill sets. Sure. And so we also need to continue to work on that. Yeah, and is there something that you guys are doing to help them do that? Yeah, all of our events, um, we encourage veterans to come out and participate with us just mm -hmm so that they can get out of their homes and be around other people. How can you inspire other veterans to essentially, you said veterans helping veterans is key. So how, what words of encouragement do you have to kind of get them to do that? Take the first step and it's okay for the first step to be a safe step mm -hmm. in reaching out to another veteran. Sure. So reach out to someone. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a family member, that's fine. If it's another veteran, that's fine. But you've got to take the first step and reach out because, you know, a lot of times we don't know who has a problem yeah. if the problem hasn't been identified. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, when Focus on Five comes back, Matt is going to fill us in on an upcoming event that they have going on. So we'll be here to find that out. So stick around.